Hi there! Today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own vintage paper moon photography prop. In this video I'll show you all the items that you need to make your paper moon. The great thing about this project is that it's super customizable and really there is no limit to what you can do with it. You can do whatever the heck you want. Eventually I would like to make some paper stars to go with it and like kind of create like this weird concept from it but that will be a, another video for another day. It's going to be a lot of fun, so let's just get this party started then. Is that their trash? Yeah, but it's locked up. So, so I found this piece of trash. I might be able to use this. <laughs> we can probably just tape that. That's big enough. It's trash. Let's I'm taking out the trash. <laughs> Okay. Hey! <laughs> we didn't even say hi to you. <laughs> Just vlog out. <laughs> we made it out. We're good. <laughs> okay, so these are the products that we're going to need for our paper moon. Uh, definitely like a pen or a pencil to trace. You can use scissors or an X-Acto knife. I'm going to try both. I just have them both in case I struggle. <laughs> um, some support, like a support beam. So I got big and little. Our spray paint, which I couldn't find the exact color that I want, so I'm just gonna Photoshop it. And then we need some hot glue. And uh, most of the stuff I got at Michael's. Also, the box itself, free 99. <laughs> This is how I propped up the moon. I have it attached to a bamboo stick and some tape. Very easy. You could also probably get like a string or something and tie it up, but I just felt like this was the more logical answer. And I attached it to the trellis as well. So that's how I propped up my moon. 